Hello again everyone, this is the MTB Duck here. So, I have been waiting to do this video for a long time. It's been a long time coming. I talked about it and I think, I think the first video I ever put up on the channel, the step up video, I mentioned this. And uh, it's finally about to happen, my trip to Sedona for the mountain bike festival. So, it's day zero, day negative one, however you want to call it. I mean, technically it's already starting today because it's Friday, I'm only going for the one day, uh, just for the afternoon Saturday. Um, and there's already mishaps occurring, so that's just great. I ordered some new grips for my, uh, for my sinker, because I'm taking my sinker, just in case I don't have a chance to, uh, rent out a bike there, or, um, or, or demo a bike, just in case there's none available. And, um, I ordered some new grips, because the one I've, I have on the bike right now are really worn down. Um, they're really... They're, they're thin. They don't provide a whole lot of protection just between my hands and the handlebars. My hands really hurt going downhill on that bike after a while. So I've ordered some new ones and Amazon lost the package. <laughs> so I ordered some new ones. They're going to be overnighted and they will arrive um, before 8 a.m. I think. Yes, before 8 a.m. Anywhere between 4.30 and 8 a.m. So I'm going to have those before I leave. Like I said, I'm getting kind of a late start tomorrow. Um, but as soon as those arrive, I'll give an update and we will continue. In the meantime, though, out here getting the bike clean, ready to go. I know this isn't the best method to use, but it works. Okay, don't question it. <laughs> All right, so it's the night before the big drive. I'm just in the car doing like a little pre-drive check because it's going to be like a two-hour drive to get over there. I keep water in the back. I got what mm, I've got quite a few water bottles I just want to make sure I have enough in case you know something goes awry but there's quite a bit back here so I think I should be good on that got new air fresheners out on the sides it's totally dark so this video probably looks like but well yeah car is looking good I got the um, I got a new uh, holder for my phone so I can use this a little bit of like a nav system when I'm out and about. Definitely gonna need that when I'm driving around Sedona because I've never been up there before. So yeah, we're good to go. I am going to get some sleep. Well, I'm gonna eat first, then I'm gonna eat again, and then I'm gonna hit, hit the sack um, pretty early tonight because I gotta get an early start, or for me at least. I'm a night owl, so it's not early early, but for me it's early. I'll get you guys in the morning. All right, so next morning I got the package. I got the new grips. I got these um, ESI grips that I'm going to be using. So that's pretty uh, pretty good. These are like uh, plush foam grips. I got the extra thick grips, so that'll kind of help with the uh, hand vibration. I'm about to get on the road, and I got to get going because I'm getting a really late start today. All right, what's up, everyone? Good morning or afternoon. It's uh, yeah, really got a late start today, but uh, I'm currently en route to Sedona on the I-17 here. It's, it's been a pretty fun drive. I'm, uh, well, I think I'm about halfway there, but yeah, I'm getting a late start because the festival has been going since like, what, 7, 9 a.m., something like that, and it's already like 12, yeah, it's 12.30, so... 12.30, so I'm getting off to a real late start. I wanted to be out of the house by like 10, but yeah, that didn't work out too well. So I got ink leave until like 11.30. So yeah, a little on the uh, late side, but we're moving. We'll be there, we'll definitely get a few hours of riding in. I want to try to get like three hours of riding in. So I want to try to outline my uh, my plan for when I get there just while I'm on this drive here. Don't worry, I'm not holding my phone or anything. I have my phone in a holder uh, where I'm recording. By the way, I'm recording on my new um, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I didn't even bring my uh, GX85, my mirrorless camera, because this thing is, is just sick. It, like, it's so great. Wide angle lens and everything. It's like, why do I even need to bring the GX? I'm just bring my my phone and my uh, GoPro, and that's more than enough. So, or that's, that's just, just enough, I should say. So. Anyways, I'm going to try to outline my plan for today when I get there, so the first thing I'm going to do when I try to, when I get there is just figure out parking, 
park and then I actually got to figure out where to put my bike because um, I'm carrying my bike in the back uh, well not in the back I've got it on the on the hitch as you guys saw my uh, taking my sinker today I'm not really riding my recoil anymore because of the reach issue you know it's the long stem kind of remedied it but it just doesn't feel anywhere as good as this as the sinker does but I don't really know if I'm gonna be riding it anyways I'm just taking it just in case uh, because the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to find a rental bike first. Uh, I'm thinking Yeti because, like I said, I want I want to try to demo Diamondback, a Pivot, and a Yeti. Uh, I just, I got those three. If I can, if I can demo those three bikes before I leave today, I will be 100% satisfied. Um, I just want to demo a Yeti, especially because it's like there's a, a really big crowd of people who love riding Yeti specifically and I've never really been able to understand why like is it is it the, the frame geometry is it some kind of material they use like why what is it about Yetis so yeah I want to I want to get a feel for it myself and check it out uh, because I've never I've never actually ridden a carbon bike before or even like or even uh, uh, a full suspension bike that's more than 100 millimeters of travel um, well, okay, technically I have, I have ridden a bike like that before, um, I think I was like a giant, I want to say a trans, but don't, don't quote me on that because I don't think that's right, um, I did ride it once a couple of years ago, but it was like, it was literally like the month after I had just started riding bikes, like mountain bikes, or like the, yeah, so I, I really... I didn't even know how to use the chopper post, so um, I've never actually ridden, not not for real, so a full suspension bike. So I'm kind of, I've never ridden a carbon bike at all, so I'm actually really curious uh, to see how that feels. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, so definitely Yeti's a priority, but I have a feeling that they're all going to be taken. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. If I can, no big deal. I'll go to the Diamondback 10, maybe see if I can meet Seth. Yeah, I wanted to get there before 1 o'clock so I could ride with a hardtail party, uh, like I was kind of mentioning earlier, but like I said, late start, it's already like 1245, there's no way I'm going to make it there in time, so no big deal, I guess we'll be kind of going solo, unless I can find someone else to ride with, but that's kind of like, you know, I don't really know if that's going to happen. I can't stay over here overnight or anything like that, I wish, but unfortunately that's just, oops, not happening today. So... Yeah, that's the plan. Take out three bikes, three hours of riding. We get that in and we come home and we have a lot of fun. I don't know what kind of trails I'll be riding yet. I have no idea what it's even going to look like. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this part of the video too long because I know I'm already kind of rambling on for like, what, seven minutes now. So yeah. All right, so that's the plan. I'll update you guys when I when it changes. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to finish out this drive. If I'm parking, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, that's it. And then I'll update you guys uh, when I get there. Alright, I have made it to Sedona, Arizona. Um, the event is way back that way up the hill. You can't even see it from here, so I'm going to swap these out for my riding glasses and head up there. I'm just uh, pulling my bike out of the, um, the rack and it did this. <laughs> Like, I guess it was scraping up against it. Then it just scratched the frame. Oh, that's a bummer. At least it's not carbon. <laughs> All right. Starting to climb up. New grips feel great. No grips yet. I got to get all the way into the uh, park because I think they got it all closed off. Climb could be quite a while, but we're going to get it. Never mind, climb up was really quick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Place is crowded and awesome. Alright, so I've uh, popped you guys out on the chesty. Oh man, I can't get through the gate. And uh, yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. There's shuttles and all kinds of stuff. Jeez, so many different tents. Hold on a sec. Oh. 
so many freaking tents. <laughs> pretty weird honestly because I'm not used to these sorts of things like I'm always out here just riding by myself total loner that's like so many so many tents a little overwhelming I'm not gonna lie but you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go Ooh, a familiar tent first. I know my first thing was Getty if I could find it, but I really want to see Diamondback. Whoa! You good, dude? Right? Uh, right? Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Diamondback tent first. Because why not? Maybe I can get some tips and pointers and figure out where to go. Because right now I don't know. I'm back then, why not? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got a rep. Uh, you guys still doing the demos? We are. Okay. Um, do you know if I need like a wristband or something? Because I have the I have the ticket, but I'm not sure where to get the like where to I'm register. It's at the front. Did you come in from the front? No, I came in over that way. Got it. So if you go toward like keep going this way, basically, you'll okay. see a big gate. Okay. And I'm assuming that the the wristband tends up there. Okay. All right. Sweet. I'll go grab one. No problem. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go grab a wristband, and then I'm gonna take out a diamond back because why not? Let me see that puppy. Okay, yeah. Does uh, you've already checked in? I have. Checked in. At... Oh no, I scanned it twice. Oh yeah, I was like, no, I haven't. I just got here. Checked in. <laughs> One day pass. Yeah. Okay. So the last demo that goes out mm -hmm. every day okay. is at about three o'clock. Okay. Um, so do you want a Sunday wristband? Uh, no, because I'm not going to be here tomorrow, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can borrow a bike and hit the dirt park. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know what time they're letting bikes. What time they're loading them out? Yeah, because I was at the Diamondback tent and they said I could just come back with the wristband and to be able to do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. And then for the day pass, you get a pair of socks also. Oh, sweet. All right, sweet. Thank you. Have fun. Excuse me. Got a question. All right, so I'm probably only going to be able to take one bike out today, <sighs> which sucks. But totally fine. You found it. Yes, got it. <laughs> Yeah. What's up, man? How are you? Do you mind if I get a photo? Yeah, let's do it. Hi. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I have my wallet, so I don't know. I don't know where. It... <laughs> you don't want to lose that. Yeah. Like, I know I brought it, but I don't know where it is. Am I just forgetting everything today? <laughs> you know what? We all have those days. <laughs> yeah. But this day I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Oh no, I hope we didn't. 
No, it's either here or it's still in my car, like with everything else. Uh, nope, it's in my car. Okay. All right. Ah, second time, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, forgot the wallet, so that's like, that's like second time. I screwed things up today. Like attempt number three. Yep. Well, yeah. It's always something, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all the. Yo, I'm just gonna see if I get a bike demo if possible. All right. Uh. Where's so, from? Something that's carbon, full suspension, got any emissions? Alright, that works. Alright, All right, sweet. Yeah, I got the credit card. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'd say just a tad bit more, yeah. Yeah, that should be perfect. Hey man, have fun. All right, sweet. Thank you. All right. And there's a few gears. Uh, yo, I just wanted to say I really love your videos, man. Yeah, they got me pretty much into mountain biking when I was first starting. I appreciate Yeah, it was really great. I think I get a picture real quick. I don't want to cut you guys off or anything, but. Uh, yeah, just lay her down. Let me uh, just. Yeah. All right. Yo, thank you, man. I really appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah. All right, keep up the good work. Keep up the great work, man. I really love it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, we got some sun. Yeah. Hey, you don't need a sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my life is complete. I got to meet Seth. <laughs> that was awesome. Really awesome. And I'm on this uh, release five here. This thing is awesome. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Brakes are pretty touchy too. This is a large, so it's a little bit smaller than my other bike. Holy shit, man, it is awesome. <laughs> oh, I gotta change my GoPro angle. I'm probably angled towards the ground right now. Okay. Trail forks. Trail forks always save my butt. And this is gonna save my butt again. <laughs> so I'm thinking we can just go up and ride this uh, Adobe Jack. It looks like it's uh, pretty fun. Nothing too crazy, you know, I don't wanna damage the bike or anything, but we do gotta give it a proper test, so. Hell yeah, north to south, so that's perfect. We're gonna, I don't know if this is showing on the camera, so I'm gonna go up here, and we're just gonna bomb it all the way down, and then come back. We should be able to do that in an hour. And, yeah, maybe we'll screw around at the skate park for a little bit, or something. I mean, I'm pretty much already throwing away my original plan here, so. <laughs> oh man, I have to get used to this new uh, gear placement. The shifter is in a much, much different position. I'm going to have to keep bringing up trail fork to make sure that I'm on the right path because I have no freaking idea where I'm going. Alright, so we got to take the soldier's path. 
weird gear place, weird shifter placement. So we gotta take this Sunray or Soldier's Pass, sorry. Soldier's Pass to, I can't really tell right now. <laughs> Soldiers pass up to just a long freaking climb, honestly. It'll take us around to another parking lot at some point. So, we just gotta sit and spin. I'm gonna turn off the GoPro until I get there just so I don't waste battery. 